Sudan's newly created sovereign council formally declared a state of emergency in the city of Port Sudan on Sunday following tribal clashes that police say have killed at least 16 people. The acting governor and the head of the National Security Service for the Eastern Red Sea State, of which Port Sudan is the capital, were both dismissed, said Brigadier Al Tahir Abu Haja, the spokesman for the Sovereign Council. This comes at a delicate time for Sudan following the signing of a power sharing agreement earlier this month. The Joint Military Civilian Sovereign Council was sworn in last week, as was Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok who is now set to form the government later this week.